This video is for students in CME 193 who are using Windows machines to connect into the corn machine. Uh, there's a website that I'd recommend you take a look at if you get stuck. It's the FarmShare User Guide. You can get a link to it from the course website right up here. And then before you actually watch this video, please take a look at these instructions on installing PuTTY and XNing. Uh, both of these programs are important and necessary for you to log in to the corn machine from your computer. So, first of all, let's open up PuTTY. So, under Programs, I've already installed PuTTY, so I'll go over there. And, there we go. So, I have PuTTY open, and I've already created something called Stanford Corn. It's going to ask me... I'll just delete it and then create a new one. So I'll put in the host name, corn.stanford.edu. I'll call it Stanford Corn and save that. And then I'm going to go over it under connection. I'll go to data. And right there is where I put in my username that I want to use. That's your SUNET ID. And go down to SSH. Go to X11. Enable X11 forwarding. Okay, now let's go back up to the session. We choose that we want Stanford Corn. Open that. All right, so it's asking for the student ID password. All right, and then FarmShare pops up. So let's see what's there. Uh, because I already had XMing installed and I have that X11 forwarding enabled, I should be able to open up um, extra windows for text editing. First, let's go over to the spot where I actually want to be creating a file. So say that I want to go into CME 193. We'll go to CD, CME 193, that's for change directory. LS will list the files that are there. Right now I have three folders, lecture one, lecture two, and test MacDiv. I'll make test WinDiv for the Windows test. NKDIR is the command for that. Make directory. And then I'll change directories to actually go into test win there. All right, there's nothing there. But what if I wanted to make a file? Well, I'll open it up. I'll open up in a text editor that I like, GBIM. So I'll say GBIM, hello world.py. All right, and then I just wait for um, this extra window to pop up for me to work. So let's say I want to put it into insert mode so I can start typing. So I press I and then print. Hello world. And then I save it. And it's going to save by default in the home directory. That's what that tilde is. Slash CME193 slash test window. So that's the directory that I'm currently in. All right. Now I'll close that. Let's say I want to run it. So LS, you can see that it's listed as a file to save. Python, hello world.py. There it is. Let's say that I want to go up a directory. So I do cd dot dot. What's available to me? So I have four different folders now. And what if I wanted to run hello world.py from here? If I try Python, hello world.py, it's not going to work. See, it doesn't think that the file is there. But I just have to put in a more detailed path name. So Python test winder slash hello world dot py. And now it runs just fine. So hopefully this has helped. Um, if you get stuck, don't hesitate to put anything on the coursework forum page or to come into office hours. So to log out, I just say log out and I'm done. All right.